Check out this cool toy that was just dropped off yesterday. Gonna restore this, get it back up and running. Needs a lot of little things. The engine has good compression. I don't know yet if it has spark or not. As you can see, it's missing the rear tires. Uh, the fronts are still usable, but they're not in great shape. The steering's stiff. The brake pedal is stiff. The gas pedal doesn't work. It doesn't move. I have no idea what size engine's on there. As you can see, it's missing covers. It does have a nice disc brake setup down there. I don't know if we can see that. It's kind of dark in here. And I was standing in front of the light. That's right down here. It also has the gear connected directly to the axle. You know, I don't know if we can see that. Maybe if I get out of the light again. Big ass sprocket. Oof. Just a little Briggs and Stratton overhead valve. It's comfortable though. Needs padding on the seat, but it's not the typical go kart. Your knees aren't crammed up into the steering wheel. It's actually made for an adult. Alright, I'll bring you along for the progress. This is where it stands right now. This is how it looked when we brought it in here. Except for the piece of rug sitting there. That was just so we could sit on it and see what it felt like. Alright, I'll bring you along when we do some work on it. Dying stuff under some of this. <laughs> well, I hope this thing's working good. Should be good to go. Well, I think it's good to see if it's in front of the Spider webs. Yeah. Both of them. 
Yeah, bring them outside before we get infected. <laughs> Another little whack. Yeah. We... I'm sure the camera loved the sound of that. Oh, yeah. And I've had this camera on the wrong setting the entire time. It's out there. Video's all going to be blurry. Want to hear it run again? <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> so three and a half of the new tires are on. I say half because... Couldn't get this rim off the axle. It's seized right to the axle. My tire's doing this twice. I gotta wait until Andre gets here so he can hold the cart in place. Because it keeps moving around on me while I'm trying to mount the tire. So that's how we get three and a half because it's halfway on. What a bear that back one was to get it to seat the bead. It was a tough one. The new seat is in too. It's underneath the seat pan right there. Gonna be a fun toy. Definitely gonna be a fun toy. Alright, let's give this thing a little squirt. Let's see what it does. Let's turn it over, see if this baby will run for us. It's been sitting outside for quite some time, but. For quite a while. Beautiful. That's our new tank hitting the floor. Runs good. Yep, that'll run as long as it gets steady supply of fuel. Awesome. Can we reach the bowl under that carburetor without taking anything else off? And what holds it on? Bottom nut. Seven sixteenths? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty. Oh, isn't that nice? It's got white goop. That's all what's inside that's, of this thing, too. That's professional white group right there. Yeah, we may want to take that carb right off of there. Because that's a, that's, that's ugly. Yeah, it's a ooey and gooey. <laughs> that's what it is. You want a socket for that? Yeah. Oh, it's not even tight, actually. I can't see. Oh, yeah, I can see I a little better.
Like that little kid that dropped this ice cream cone. <laughs> why I want the other because I didn't swear about it. You probably should have hanged it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not all squished up. Now hold your Usually beer. they're like that. Hold your beer up to the camera. <coughs> Poor camera. Up in the window. That little, oh, that hey. little rectangle. <laughs> Take the brakes out. <laughs> oh, yeah. They can, they can see you well. <laughs> they call me throttle cable. No brakes. <laughs> As you can hear, this is one of those new engines that doesn't uh, make any noise. It's electric. Show us that torque. I don't know. This is a plasma drive. Two for the two more. <laughs> There's no carburetor. <laughs> There's nothing to floor. I think it has safety over here. I don't think you can get any more full throttle than that. It is fun. No, it was like that. <laughs> But it ain't giving up. Yeah, yeah, you got the thing. Oh, no, we're not. Nope. I guess more than you know. Which is the problem? Is that line already half broken? Alright, yeah, that'll stay where it is. As long as we don't mess with it. Now, what was that idea? All right. If you took a piece of angle iron, lays flat on there, it goes down, so that on the top all you'll see is that flat piece of steel, bolt it to here first, so that here there'd be a flat piece of steel coming off, and then this goes right up, two holes in it. Right oh, well, I can put it all the way over you here. You can put it right? wherever so you want. I can want. have extra room on one side too, right? Yep. Or I just had a short piece of angle iron. Oh, oh, again. Again. Don't want to do that What's that? I would stress test this tank, make sure it don't leak, but just literally. All right, check this out. We didn't have a throttle cable on here, so we had to make up a setup. Andre bought a universal throttle cable. All the ends were great, the cable itself was great, the housing sucked, the housing kept compressing on us. So I took a housing from an old lawnmower cable, cut it down to length, slipped the cable from the throttle cable uh, kit inside of that housing and we managed to get it all set up and the throttle's all working now. We had to make our own bracket because again there was it was originally set up for a lawnmower style. Actually, let me put that on close so you could see better. It was set up for the lawnmower style that just clamped the housing right there, this this housing. Um, but we didn't want to set up that way with these nice ends. And let me show you. I'll step on the gas pedal and let you see that. put a bolt in here to put the spring on so that it's pulling nice and even with the cable now we're just doing some fine tuning because <laughs> the clutch setup was all rusted so Andre's cleaning out the hub to get all the pitting out of it so that it'll slide on that shaft again pretty good looking machine though isn't it 
gas tank all installed. We ended up using one of the tanks from a snowblower and just used a little piece of angle iron and drilled some holes and used the original mounting holes for that tank. Ran it down the new fuel line, the fuel filter to a brand new carburetor. Can you see that? going back together. Almost. Soon. <laughs> Just a little further. <laughs> Didn't make it too far on its maiden voyage. What happened? Do it what? again. Nice brand new tires on it. Look at that. Walmart special. Yep, Walmart tires. All four. That one was tough to do because that rim didn't want to come off the axle. Did we ever tighten all? Oh yeah, we did tighten all the axle yeah, nuts, yeah, didn't we? we? Did. And all the seat bolts, they're all tight too. Yep. Alright, looks like that. Attempt number two for clutch fitment. Get this seatbelt out of our way so we can see. I'm gonna do is have it spin. Oh, there spinning. you go. That'll work. Catch this a little bit. We'll do a little bit more. You got the key on? Yep. Main rocket booster ignited. Oh, let me choke it. I'm gonna have to unchoke it before you take off. This time we're gonna stay right here because it should run fine. And now we'll see him pop out over here. There he is. Here you coming. There's Barbara. Yep, there's me. He's riding up the middle of the yard again, that bastard. Look at him. Trying not to shake you, but I'm sure I'm shaking the heck out of you. Point that thing at me. Keep it under 100 miles an hour. The turbo boost is hooked up. Not bad, huh? That's a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that a little bit of power. Well, it kicked sideways. Good too. Did you see it down there? 